Hello, it's the guy in the basement, me, Drunk Farmer, and the world is watching. Yes, they is wa the world is watching. As, as you know, the past week has been full of protests and news and burnings and oh, all sorts of fun little shit. It all started like, kind of almost a week ago when a white officer, four white officers arrested a black guy. And unfortunately, one officer had his knee on the black man's neck for eight minutes. The suspect died, which has now caused protests across the country from Los Angeles to New York. First of all, I think the four cops who were involved in this, they're a disgrace to their badge, disgrace to their uniform, and a disgrace to the Minneapolis, Minnesota Police Department. And I hope you guys get, I don't know, I, but all in all, you guys disgraced your families, disgraced yourselves, and you got fired for it. And you, and by the way, you're not going to receive shit. <laughs> No pension, no retirement, nothing. Feel good about that. The riots came to a kind of a, well, what can we say? Four days later, one of the cops was, was charged. Meanwhile, your city was burning. It took you four days to do this. I think the Minneapolis... Minnesota DA's office dropped the ball. I think they should have made the charges the day after all this happened. I think they should have went in there and arrested these guys the day after. But no, the Minneapolis DA waited four days. Meanwhile, your fucking city's burning. If you would have done it the day after it happened, I don't think all this violence would be excavating right now. I think it'd be more moderate. I think it'd probably be more low-key. I think you probably had more peaceful demonstrations, but unfortunately, you waited four days. Four days! Meanwhile, there's people burning shit in your city. Okay? These people have burned down a police precinct. The mayor of Minneapolis took heat for that. I thought it was a good move. Get the cops out of there. They were outnumbered like, probably five to one. Get them out of there. Get them back and just let those protesters burn the precinct down because you can always replace a building. You cannot replace human life. There, I said it. Meanwhile, as in the middle of a speech in the wee hours of Friday morning, Donald Trump tweeted some shit out. See, Donald Trump had to throw his 10 cents in, literally. And this is what pisses me off about this. And this is what pisses me off about Trump. Didn't give any support to the mayor of Minnesota, Minneapolis, excuse me. Didn't give him any support. He just scolded him like he was an employee at one of fucking Trump's, um, cor you know, corporations. And I'm sure the mayor went behind closed doors and had a few choice words. Because when the reporter read what Trump said about him, the look on the mayor's face was fucking priceless. I'm not kidding you. He was pissed, but he kept it together. And I'm sure he went into some closed area where no microphones, no press were. And he probably said a few choice words about President Trump. By the way, the mayor of Minneapolis is a Democrat. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if he's a Democrat or Republican. If you are the president of the United States, you should show support. Don't sit there and just scold him like a like an employee or something, show support. Trump never did that. He never did that. Another thing that bugged me was uh, he tweeted out, "If they start looting, if they if they start looting the shoot, they'll start shooting." That was a saying back in 1968 in Miami when the mayor of Miami, during before the Republican convention started. Because there was a lot of, I mean, the late 60s, there was a lot of riots going on. Protesting against the Vietnam War and there was rioting and stuff. And the, mayor, and the mayor of Miami said that if they start looting, the shooting, 
they'll start shooting. Donald Trump claims he's never heard that thing, but he's heard it, but he didn't know it was a racist thing. <laughs> I call bullshit, but you know, hey, what do I know, right? I call bullshit Trump. I just want you to know that. All in all, the rioting excavated Friday. It's probably going to excavate tonight. And it's Saturday, by the way. Um, it's okay to protest as long as you do it in a peaceful manner. We don't need the looting. We don't need the fire starting. You know, we don't need all that shit. I don't know what y'all are trying to prove. Oh, we can burn a building down. We can we can go to a store and break windows down and, and steal everything. No, nah, man, you're just creating more problems. If you're you're just creating more problems for the police. You're creating more problems for people who just want to protest in a peaceful manner. So basically, that's it. Bottom line, you're just creating more problems. I am very disappointed in my city of Lincoln, Nebraska. I am. I thought we were better than that. I really do. For all I've lived in this city all my life. And what happened last night just well made me fucking angry. I thought it was stupid. I thought it was irresponsibility. Yes, they were protesting. It started we had some peaceful protests around the city, you know, just you know, and I get that, and that's fine. But then they all got into a gas station on the main strip and basically trashed it. Trashed nine buildings last night in that in that area. Stupidity, I say. I call it. That's what I call it. I call it stupidity. There's a bunch of stupid people who thought, oh, yeah, it's vandalized. Yeah. Where did it get you? Did it, where did, were you satisfied that you vandalized a building? Did you get a really fucking hard on when you vandalized this building? When you vandalized? Do you get a hard on? Did you? Because there's, if, if you haven't seen it, I'm sure there's video of it somewhere on YouTube. But I'm very disappointed. Lincoln's better than that. Omaha, I'm disappointed in you too. I think overall, I think Omaha and Lincoln are better than that. But what the, so. And by the way, during all these protests, no one was practicing social distancing. But hey, at least some of them were wearing masks. But what the hell do I know? I'm just a guy in a basement. We'll see you next week, everyone. So long. Oh, before I go, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. I'd like to hear from you. I want to hear how you feel about what's going on in Minneapolis and Minnesota or the protests. I want to hear what you have to say. Also, if you want to get a hold of me in another way, you can at drunkfarmer67 at gmail.com. There you go. Till next week. Adios.